Hello everybody, this is a casual, Iron Man friendly guide for mahogany homes that will showcase how I like to train my construction without drowning in efficiency sweat. Mahogany Homes is a minigame that provides an alternative method for construction training to its more traditional methods. This minigame is very good for those who face resource scarcity, or those who intend to maximize experience per resource in exchange for hourly experience rates. This makes Mahogany Homes very good for Iron Men, who tend to have easy access to teak or mahogany logs through miscellanea, and less easy access to GP income required for mass plank making. The essence of this mini game is that you are a contracted carpenter who goes to the agent Amy in Philador to receive a contract for her furniture replacement in homes around four cities in Gilenor. The four cities which you'll visit in the activity are Hosidius, Enzea, Varok, Ardoin, and of course Falador. Each city will have three different buildings which require renovations. They are now shown in the background. While this is not necessarily optimized for efficiency, the inventory and equipment setup I have looks like this. The staff I am using is a mist staff, providing unlimited air and water room. This can easily be replaced with other staffs, which preferably have unlimited air runes for use as we utilize teleportation in the normal spellbook. An example of another staff which you can use is the Dust Battle Staff, which will give you unlimited air and earth runes instead of unlimited un air and water runes. Looking at the inventory, the hammer and saw are essential, as well as the steel bars along with the desired planks depending on the level of contract. The rune pouch contains law runes, fire runes, and earth runes, covering all the required teleports. I choose to use the Xerix blade teleport in the Xerix talisman to get to Hosidius, but if you have your house there, you can always use that as your other teleport option. I use the Mahogany Homes plugin in Runelight, as it highlights all the furniture that require replacement as well as the required resources for each contract. Depending on the level of contract you choose, you may have normal, oak, peak, or mahogany planks in your bank and inventory. In my inventory, I also have a plank sack, which can and should be prioritized when making purchases with the points accumulated from the minigame. This allows you to carry 28 additional planks, reducing the need for banking. While it is a convenience, it is not essential when starting off, but can be unlocked within 2-5 to five hours of playing the minigame. In the background, I've had footage, uh, gameplay footage, where I continuously visit Amy for contracts and proceed to go to the different locations which require repairs. When I've been out of planks and steel bars, I have restocked in closest banks. I will now live commentate over an entire run or two of Mahogany Homes to show how I do it in practice. Starting off at the Falador teleport point, we will have an inventory full of, in this case, teak planks, steel bars, and a full plank sack, as well as the essentials here, which I have previously noted. So, once I come to this house, I will find Amy. With Amy, I go and I select contract after I've spoken to her the first time. Here, depending on the type of planks you have, you will select a different contract, and in this case, since I have teak planks, I will select the adept contract which is also number three on my keyboard. So I will press three there to select that. Could I have an adept contract? Yes, I can. And she will send me to Noella, who is north of the East Ardoin market. No need to run anywhere. Just go there, press the Ardoin teleport button, then run straight up and Noella is in this house. Uh, essentially with the Runelight plugin, you need to follow the arrow and it'll show you which house exactly you need to go to and then you can also see these green marked places and all you need to do is go about repair the ones. These are one click repairs and here you need to remove the cupboard that is broken and once you press on it again, this interface comes up. This interface has these three options, uh, sorry, four options again. The third option here being the adept contract options with the teeth cupboard. So I go ahead and press three on my keyboard again same as if I would be doing a construction here. I see that there are more um, furniture that requires replacement on the other side, so I will go down the ladder, climb up this other ladder here. This is a, probably a bit of a longer one. So here I'm just going to replace the drawer, the grandfather clock, which again is a single click repair or replacement, then the table here taking three planks, and another table here taking further three planks. 
So, then I climb back down, and I find Noella. Noella's got her arrow above her, so I know who to talk to. We tell her we're finished with our work, she thanks us, gives us a nice bit of XP, and offers us a cup of tea. This cup of tea that she offers us will, once we accept it, regenerate all our run energy, regardless from how low it was. And then, moderately quickly, we go off and teleport back to Palador. I think I'll do another run here real quick, just so that you guys can see. Um, another example of a location which i might get so i go back talk to amy press three on the keyboard adapt contract and this time she sends me to norman now norman i can see is in the south of the fountain in falador so because i have the plank sack and the planks here required together that's more than 13 planks and i have enough steel bars i will run my way down here i see this house i see this grandfather clock which requires repairing as well as this table here so i will go ahead and break these then repair them or break the table then repair it go upstairs see that the drawers are broken so i will repair the drawers the bed and the bedside table uh, which will collectively take planks and here if you have a plank sack it's taking planks directly out of the plank sack so you don't need to remove them yourself which is great and again i'll go ahead and talk to norman here give me some xp cup of tea energy back to full and back we go to falador you can run as well since we are already in falador but this is probably quicker in general and so with that that brings about the end of this guide more or less this is the bank that I normally choose to restock at after I've received a contract. I think there are probably more efficient banks that you can go to, or you can choose to go to banks which you will find on your way to your different contracts, but this is fine and this works for me. In terms of experience rates, the experience rates that I get with Teak Planks are between 150 and 160,000 experience per hour, which is still pretty good considering the experience per plank is significantly higher than what I would probably be getting at um, or using normal construction methods in my player own house. So, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Minigame is pretty simple, self-explanatory. Just do it until you come into a rhythm and find your own inventory. There are obviously better ways to do this in terms of efficiency with uh, NPC contact and then you can use your teleport tablets. But hey, I'm an Iron Man, so teleport tablets are pretty annoying to make. I use my runes. Runes are fine. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment and I'll get to them as soon as I can. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching and have a good day.